Alright, if you are given this type of graph, only one graph or right angle triangle graph, so what you need to do is you plot your uh, V1, okay, you plot your V1, you plot your LN, you plot your L0, and VN plus 1, okay. So the next thing for you to do is to make sure that you draw the reference point. Okay, so to draw the reference point, you need to draw a straight line from L0 to V2, uh, V1 and extend the line. Okay, and then from LN to VN plus 1, so you extend the line. So when the two lines meet, you're going to see the interception of the two lines and then your job is uh, to label the point where that will be your reference point so now we have connected the uh, L0 V1 line with LN VN plus 1 so now you are going to have a reference point here So, you're going to proceed with the tie line. So, the graph that given to you uh, has the pattern of a tie line. So, you can see the solid line here, black line, solid lines, few solid lines here. So, this is the duplicate tie lines that you have for, for a system. So, because you don't have the below graph, okay, you're only given one graph. So, what you need to do is to take a look at your V1 because you need to know where's your L1. Okay. So, your job is look at this shape. So, the V1 is inside of this, partic this particular two lines. Okay. So, now your job is just to draw a straight line. Okay. Follow the shape of these two particular lines. And then reach the equilibrium line down here. Okay. So that will be your L1. Alright. Okay. So let me show you. So now look at this uh, red line that I've drawn. Okay. So you can see the gap between uh, this line and the second line here. Okay. So this part is wider compared to this particular part okay so this is smaller so you might want to estimate that uh, you have this one this particular point that you go be, you begin uh, the range of the with the this particular line is wider compared to this particular line okay if possible but if you cannot just follow about the same shape of this particular line okay so now you're going to label this one as this particular point as your L1. Okay, next is you're going to follow the same method as I've taught you. Okay, just connect your L1 to reference point. Okay, now I have drawn the next line which is from L1 to reference point here so the position where it is intercept the equilibrium uh, curve will be your v2 okay next job is to do it again because you still have to create your tie line And then you need to refer your V2 now here and it lies between the, the given tie line here okay and the next one is here okay all right so let's draw that one now let's look of what we have here all right so it seems like uh, the line touches the uh, raffinate curve
curve beyond the ln okay beyond the ln so this is your ln so it is beyond your ln so if you have these particular types of tie line all right so you're going to see that you can only develop one tie line which is between v1 and l1 and you have v2 to l2 so this is your l2 okay but it is the L2 is beyond the LN, so the number of stages that you have shouldn't be more than two, okay? So how do you calculate that? All right, so let's label first. So this is your L2, okay? Your L2, All right? So, so what you need to do is to measure the length between this to from L1 to L2 all right from L1 to L2 right and then you need to measure the line from L1 to LN okay so your answer should be 1 because this is one tie line so you are able to draw the first tie line complete one tie line so this is one stage then plus the length between L1 to LN divide by L1 to L2. So your answer is about 1 point something, which is not more than 2. Okay? So you can do that. How uh, to calculate the number of stages.